Yo, what's up guys and welcome to an alternative, quicker version of the Kerner Disquiet level 5. We're going to start off in the locker room area dressed as a chef. All you're going to need for this is your coins and your remote explosive. We're going to throw a coin right there. So upon reflecting from yesterday's mission, I knew there was going to be a faster way of doing this. And after taking a little bit of a break from it and coming back to it, I've uh, looked at a few things and I've figured out a way you can go a much, much faster and less stressful way. So once he goes and uh, picks up the coin, we're going to knock him out with that crowbar that's right there. I'm going to pick that coin back up if you need to. And we're going to drag his body out of anyone's, uh, anyone's sight. We don't want to get his body discovered. That would spell very bad news. So what you do in this one, you want to quickly get back in here and uh, use your crowbar again to knock out this stylist. And we're going to hide his body in the locker just next to it. So at this point we're just going to want to distract our second target, so we're going to throw that coin right there and we're going to knock him out with a crowbar also. The reason why I'm not subduing is because this way is a lot faster and there is a glitch currently in the game where sometimes when you subdue people it breaks their neck by mistake, which will result in the mission being failed, obviously. So we're just going to go and get our shotgun right now. So you want to head over to the security room over here and uh, disarm the fuse box. We're going to get inside this room to avoid being detected by the security guard right here. And once he goes to investigate, we're going to go back out and knock him out with the crowbar. Throw it out his head. Pick it back up. And knock out the uh, security guard that's in here as well. So it gives us plenty of time to get our mind disarming device and this shotgun right here. So we're going to use the crowbar to break open the safe to pick up our mind disarming device. So we're going to head back to the way we came and we're going to drop our shotgun just in here because we're going to pick that up in a little bit. And also we're going to go ahead and uh, knock out no, we're going to go ahead and pick up our assault rifle now from the stairway. So make sure you have your mind disarming device activated at that time. Equipped. So here it is. And re-equip your mind disarming device as well. Because it's just lasers just at the bottom of the stairway right here. So we're just going to drop this gun here for now because we will come back to it. So now we're just going to go ahead and uh, make our first assassination. So we're just going to use the remote explosive. So when this guy comes back over, we're just going to literally throw at his feet, explode it straight away. And there we go. So you want to make your run way back to the pantry to pick up your shotgun. Now quickly shoot the security guard right here. But before we do that, we just realized I'm going to take this guy out just before he causes any hassle, just in case. Don't need that crowbar anymore, so you want to pull out your shotgun, shoot this guy, drop the shotgun and pick up your assault rifle and shoot this guy, and then head towards the exit and you're home free. Make sure you activate your mind assignment device because there is lasers right at the end. And that will conclude level 5 in a much faster time. So I hope you enjoyed this version and I hope you enjoyed the last version. It's much more challenging than the last version. This one's a lot, lot less stressful. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you liked. And if it did help you out, please drop a like on the video and I'll see you in the